Hello and welcome to the Digital Imaging Channel. I'm Will and today I'm gonna to give you five more vetting questions that you can use when you are vetting a scanning company for your project. Since we've already done the first five questions in a previous video, we're starting with number six today and that is how long will a scanning project take? The two main factors, there are many that go into this, but the two main ones are the quantity of records and then the condition. Now quantity of records, let's say you're doing paper scanning. If you have 50 bankers boxes, that's gonna be a shorter project than if you have 500 bankers boxes. Then you have the condition of the material, using paper again as an example. If your paper is very clean, few staples, just a couple folders per box, maybe 50 folders a box, pretty straightforward project. And again, let's say you're using the 500 box example, that's gonna be a quicker project than if you have the same 500 boxes, but you have staples on every single page. You have sections within the folders. The paper themselves, the files themselves are actually poor condition. They're kind of torn up, they have to be fixed a little a bit, they're kind of folded every now and then, that's gonna take a lot more prep to even get into the scanning phase. So that's gonna take longer than the same quantity of records that's clean material. This of course applies to microfilm and microfiche aperture card records as well, because if you have, let's call it 1500 microfilm rolls, that project just to scan those 1500 rolls, if it's good microfilm, will be shorter than if you have the same project and the microfilm has one of those maladies like vinegar syndrome, where we have to be more careful about how we scan it. We may have to clean it a bit or clean the scanners after each roll is processed. So the same types of projects, even same quantities can be different based on the condition of the materials. To get an idea of what your project's gonna be, just work with your potential partner and give them an idea of what the project is. They'll ask you a few questions and they should be able to give you a scope and timeline based on preliminary information. Number seven is what else is included in a scanning project? You're taking your analog records and converting them to a digital format, but what else goes into the project? Every company is gonna have a little different idea of what is included in the scanning price or even what's just included in their standard project. Of course, you are the client, whatever you need, you should be asking for, but make sure you say, okay, if I'm getting scanning, what else do I get? Do I get OCR, which is optical character recognition, basically tech search capability of the records once they're digitized. What kind of QA and QA is involved. There are various levels of that. And so you may want to know, what do I get with the basic price? You may want a more detailed level of quality checking. So you should ask for that. What's the final deliverable? What are you getting with that scanning price? Is there a standard format like PDFs or is there something else included? And then how is that being delivered to you? Is that a hard drive, like a USB drive? Is that SFTP? Is it some other application? Let's say you have a larger project and it's going to be a few months. What else may be included to help you access your records while the project's going on? If you're working with us, you may be using our digital real application as an in-production application so that you can access those files as they're completed before the final deliver at the end. So even if you're getting something like PDFs on a hard drive, you can still use digital real to use the records while the project is ongoing. Number eight is a very basic question, but asking what digital formats can I receive my images in? So you want to know, can you get basic formats like PDFs, TIFFs, JPEGs, or you may want something a little more specific like PDFAs or LZW. So ask those questions, what can I get? Are you capable as a scanning partner of making those images that I need for my deliverable? And tied in with the format of the images may be the resolution. So typically 99% of projects are gonna be 300 DPI, so dots per inch. Really it's pixels per inch, but everyone still says dots per inch. So 300 DPI is the standard. Almost every project's gonna have that. But you may want something like 400 DPI, so higher resolution, or maybe even 600 DPI or something beyond that. Ask those questions early on. If you you believe you need those resolutions so you know if this scanning partner can do it or if they can't you need to go somewhere else. Question number nine, what if I need a file during the scanning project? So you're taking your records, giving them to a scanning partner, and they're gonna be prepping them, scanning them, processing them, indexing, and then delivering them at the end. But these projects may be a couple weeks, a couple months. They could be, if it's a large project, let's go to 5,000 rolls of microfilm, for instance, that could be a few months. Now, of course, you should be getting deliverables along the way, maybe each month as more rolls are completed, but still, these records are out of your hands for a long time. So what do you do if you need one of those? How do you get access to those records while you don't have them with you? And the answer should be a request system. If you're working with us, we have our BMI request system or otherwise known as BRS. So what that allows you to do is just log into the secure portal, create a request, and then our team gets that request and we can go find that record, prioritize it, basically push it to the front of the scanning process, get it scanned, get it loaded, and get you the file very rapidly. So you don't have to worry about, uh oh, 
oh, I don't have my records. Do I have to drive over there? Do they have to ship them back to me? That's all removed. Basically, you just request the file. We go find it. We process it, get it back to you very simply within our BRS application. So while you're researching companies and asking them questions, that should be a critical one you ask of, how do I get my records while I don't have them? Describe the process for me. And question number 10 is, what's your experience with document scanning? Very simple question, very broad, but that's what you wanna do. You wanna start broad and then narrow down to specifics around your project. So of course, it's how long have you been doing this? How many projects have you done? How many projects do you run every month? Have you worked with businesses like mine? The idea is to go big to small. So you get that high level idea of just give me a general idea of how long you've been doing this and your experience with projects, but then narrowing it down to your specifics. Of course, every project is unique, but let's say you work at a registrar's office and you want to scan the student records. You want to know that they've worked with other registrar's offices and have scanned student records before. So you get that warm and fuzzy that they know what they're doing. Cause it's not just the scanning itself. It's how you handle certain types of records. There are different security levels or different regulations that go around handling data. So depending on not just your organization, but the actual files themselves, that can be critical that they have experience dealing with those. At the end of the day, you want a company that knows what they're doing, that they've been around the block. You don't want them to treat you like a cog in a machine because you have a unique project, but you also don't want the three guys, a van and a dream that just bought a scanner yesterday. Oh, of course I can scan these for really cheap too. You want to stay away from people that don't know what they're doing. So ask that question, go big to small and get that experience you need. That's it for today. Five more questions for vetting a document scanning company before you move forward with the project. If you haven't seen already, already watched the first video of the first five questions, and there'll be one more video wrapping up the vetting questions coming soon. I'm Will, you're the audience. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.